Hello guys, let us examine these questions together. This is the uh, activity 4.1 and the question asks that carry out the following mathematical operations and give the answers to the appropriate numbers of significant figures. Now, before we continue with solving this question, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Now, let us go straight to answering the question. The question says, carry out the following mathematical operations and give the answers to the appropriate numbers of significant figures. The first one, sum of 37.24 milliliter and 10.3 milliliter. Now, let's write out the question that we are asked to sum or the values which is 37.24 milliliter plus 10.3 then milliliter now if you sum this together what is it going to give to you it's going to give us 4 3 plus 2 is what 5 plus 0 0.7 is 7 and then 1 plus 3 is 4. So our answer is 47 arriving from the sum is 47.54 milliliter. But is this going to be the answer we are going to write? No. Why? Because when you are adding when you are adding values when you are adding values the answer should carry the number of decimal places of the fewest value or let us say when you add the result should carry the number of decimal places of the value with the fewest number of decimal places your result should carry number of decimal places of the values that you added with the fewer number of decimal places now let's look at the two values we have 37.24 this one has how many decimal places this one has two decimal places now when you say decimal places of course everyone knows what decimal place is the point numbers or values after the decimal places or after the decimal points rather the values after the decimal point so in this case you have two and four which is two number after the decimal places now in this or after the decimal point which is two decimal place here rather now in 10.3 you have three which is just one number after the decimal point and hence this one has one decimal place so the number with the fewest number of decimal place is 10.3 and the number of decimal places is just one so your value should carry the one decimal place only your value should carry only one decimal place so the answer here will be 47 points now in this case what do you do you round up now if here we are to be up to five you round up to the nearest even number or to the nearest uh old number but in this case you have five four five is just there four cannot be rounded off to what to one to make this one to be six so what do you do this becomes 47 point what five milliliter and that is the answer to that question so if they give you any two values for you to add them together your answers must carry the decimal place of the number with the fewest number of decimal place so in this case since it has just one decimal place which is the, 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 the number with the fewest number of decimal places, just one decimal place. It means that your answer will also be in one decimal place. Now, after calculating, if you have more than one decimal place, what do you do? You round up until you get one decimal place. Is that understood? So, the correct answer to this, this question is 47.5. And that is how many significant figures? You can write that is three significant figures. Okay? So, that is how to solve this question. Now, let's take number two. Differences between 27... 0.87 and this now it's still the same thing that is applicable here 27.87 gram minus 21.2342 gram now if you subtract these two what is it going to give to you 
if you subtract these two what is it going to give to you you can punch your calculator to subtract this if you subtract this it's going to give us 6.6358 gram 6.6358 gram now if you look at the two values given you have 27.87 which one has the fewest decimal places and 21.23 of course you know this one has four decimal place and this one has how many decimal place two decimal place that means the values after the decimal point which is one and two so this one has two decimal place it's one two three four this one has four decimal places so we are going to round up our answer to two decimal places the fewest here is two decimal place so in this case now you have six point now six now you have three five you need to round it up to 6.6 something because 6 something will be two decimal places so we have to since it's up to 5 what do we do we add it up here to make it what 4 so this gives us 6.64 gram and this is how many decimal places and how many significant figure three significant figure so that is how to go about that particular one like that all you need to do is as attain the one with the fewest decimal place after you must have subtracted or do your algebra whatsoever you have as your answer you round it up in such a way that the number of decimal places will be equal to the one with the fewest number of decimal places among the values that we are giving to you okay now let us come to product for product it is the one with the fewest significant figures you count the one with the fewest significant figures so for addition and subtraction you use decimal places why for multiplication and division you use significant figure so if they say find the product of course everyone knows that product is what multiplication okay so what we are going to do now is multiply 12.34 centimeter times 1.23 now first of all let us ascertain their significant figure this one has how many significant figure one two three four so it has four significant figures. Why so it has how many? One, two, three. So it has three significant figures. It means that our answer that we are going to arrive at, it's supposed to have how many significant figures? Three. Because the one with the fewest significant figures here is what? Three. So this gives us equal to. Multiply this with this. What is it going to give to us? Quickly. Now this will give us 15.17 eight two now round it up to the correct significant figure it's supposed to be three significant figure which will now be worth 15 point round this up because it's up to five you round it up to two which is 15.2 centimeter square okay 15.2 centimeter why is this square because centimeter times centimeter will give us what centimeter square so that's your answer 15.2 centimeter square how many significant figure is this three significant figure you know why it is three because the number here the one that has the lowest significant figure is three significant word figure which is this why this one has four significant figure now the next calculate this now this is for division it's still the same thing that's applicable so if you are giving 76.44 centimeter and you are asked to divide it by 20.77 84 centimeter now let us ascertain the one with the highest or fewest significant figures this one has how many significant figures here one two three four this one has four significant figures why this one has one two three four five six this one has six significant figures so when you divide this and this what is it going to give to us quickly now the division gives us divide this with this the product is 3.6788203134 but our answer is supposed to be just how many significant figures four significant figures because the fewest significant figure here is what four so let us break it down to four significant figures this is 3.67 now the next we have already written three remainder one so this eight now there's another eight here this eight is greater than five so you round it up and this becomes what nine centimeter so how many significant figure is this four significant figure so that is basically how to go about this question thank you